Hi, welcome back to the Custom Saber Shop on YouTube. And people ask me all the time, how do you get a really evenly lit blade? You don't want it bright in one spot and dim in the middle and bright at the tip. You want it really evenly lit so you create that realism that what you have is a real lightsaber. Now there are a number of factors that go into having a really evenly lit blade and I'm going to tell you what they are. Now the first and perhaps most important factor in even blade brightness actually doesn't have anything to do with the blade at all. It has everything to do with your LED and your optics. And as you can see here, I've got an old Sol P4. I don't even think you can get these anymore. This is just for the example. Um, you, the modern single Cree would be a much superior LED to this, but the actual uh, optics that you get are the same. This is an 8.7 degree optic. You can also get a, a 5 degree angle. Um, basically what that means is the smaller the degree, the sharper the, the beam's going to be. Um, so you'd think you'd get a brighter blade from a 5 degree, but I find that the 8.7 works best in most applications, but you can get both and try. Um, but you're going to want to have your optic properly seated on your LED. Now that's the tricky thing to know because you don't want it right down on your LED. Generally you want it a hair thickness off. Fortunately, you don't have to do this yourself. You can actually get the optic holder. Um, this is a clear one, but you can get the black version that's an appropriate optic holder. So as you can see, the optic is snapped in here. And now this just rides right into those holes. If you find the right, and it just sits there perfectly. And it holds the LED exactly the right, or sorry, it holds the optic exactly the right distance away from the LED. And it keeps it, um, keeps it straight so that you're not kilted at an angle. Um, that will be important. I'll show you why in a moment. Now, that's with the single LED. You want to get the optic and the optic holder, and that will fit nicely inside your Custom Saber Shop blade holder. Um, but in my opinion, the best way to utilize an optic to get an even blade is actually with the Tri-Cree LED and this, uh, I think it's a Carclo made Tri-Optic that you get at the Custom Saber Shop. Um, this sits in those holes just perfectly once you can get it to snap in there and then that fits in your you know, the rest of your blade holder you don't need a, a lens holder for this and that holds it the, the exact right distance from each of the LEDs and you get the right colors blending and you get a, a really nice focus that'll create an even light throughout your blade um, if you don't have this or if you have it off at all um, it's it's not going to work really well um, like I said, this tri -cree and this optic is the best solution I've found so far. Uh, so I'm going to pan out here and I'm going to show you a little bit of what I mean. Okay, I'm going to turn this LED on and I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to hold the optic in place in its ideal location, just like I explained. And then I'm going to fire this, uh, this unit up. This is just wired to an old uh, Nano Biscotti. And I'm going, to, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to position it as if it was in the blade. You see the optic lights up the blade. Now with a single uh, light source you're going to get more brightness at the base of the blade. Um, but if I pull the optic away from, try to do this in the way you can see it, pull the optic away from the, from the LED unit even just a little bit, you'll notice that the blade brightness diminishes significantly. Just a tiny bit of movement. Likewise, if I tilt the optic at all, you're not going to get even blade brightness. Even if it's not positioned straight to the saber, you'll notice that that's going to affect the blade brightness. So every little thing about this affects the blade brightness. You want it perfectly centered, you want the, the optics seated really nice, and you want it uh, directed straight down the blade for, for an even blade. Now I've threaded the, uh, the LED and the heatsink into the heatsink holder, and, uh, and you'll see that the Custom Saber Shop MHS parts are just beautifully designed for this because it keeps everything tight and secure and aligned straightly. So when I, when I fire that up and press that against the blade, you can see that I get an excellent result because it's, it's, pointed, it's pointed just where it should be. And so my blade brightness is maximized just by the construction of the way that the LED and the optic are held in the blade holder. Okay, the next significant factor is, of course, your blade construction. And I've got a uh, clear, a thick-walled tube here, and I've got a thin-walled tube, but this one has a diffuser in it. And as you're going to see, fire up the sabers. Now, the blade without any diffuser, you're just seeing the dust particles inside the blade. But with a diffuser on the inside, it catches the light and bounces the light back and forth. 
so you definitely, with a clear blade, need a diffuser. In a moment, I'll show you the, uh, the trans white blades and kind of what they do. Um, but your diffuser will give it a kind of a silvery look. But basically what you want is you want the light to bounce around on the inside of the blade. The other thing in blade construction is you're going to want a mirrored tip. The mirror actually shines the light back down the blade. Now with any single LED source, you're going to get bright at the base of the blade, bright at the tip, and a little bit dimmer in the center of the blade. You want to minimize that as much as possible. And there are several ways to do that that I'll go into in a minute. One of the ways to minimize the dimness in the center of the blade is what some are calling a dual diffused blade, or basically sanding the surface of the blade. So you, I don't know if you can tell the difference in the picture, but this blade is sanded and this blade is not. So you get a bit of a different effect. It's really, you know, amounts to personal preference as opposed to brightness. But it is one of the ways that you can control a little bit um, the brightness in the center of the blade. You might. You only want to sand it very, very lightly, and you might want to sand it a little bit more in this spot just to create some evenness. Now here you've got your trans white blades, uh, or transparent white. So they've got a, a milky white finish. Uh, this is a thick wall blade. This is a thin wall blade. Now these have no diffuser in them. And as you, you see, you get a bit of a different effect. The, the uh, thick wall blade, you're not going to get as much light as you are in the thin wall blade, but it might be a little bit more even. That's generally the, the rule with the thick wall blades, is they're obviously more durable, they're heavy, but the opening is smaller, three quarters of an inch on the inside, as opposed to seven eighths of an inch on the inside, and so you're just not going to get as much light on the inside of a thick wall blade. Now this is the same thin walled uh, trans white blade with no diffuser, and this is a thin walled trans white blade, but I've got some rolls of film inside. This is what would be what is called a Corbin style blade or Corbin style film. It's gift wrap film that's that's inserted on the inside of the blade, rolled up. It's about five or six feet in here to add the diffusion. As you can see, you get uh, a very different effect. You know, if you look especially at the tip, you can see through, you can see the mirror, you can see where the mirror is reflecting and hitting, and there's a dimmer spot here, whereas the blade's a lot more even if you look at the diffused or Corbin wrap style. Okay, I've swapped the blades because this saber is a brighter saber than this saber. This is a Tri-Cree LED, this is a Tri-Rebel, and the Cree is a little bit brighter. So as you can see, the diffused blade now, uh, and the evenness on the brighter saber, and the non-diffused blade on the dimmer saber, just to give you some perspective. Um, so the diffusion doesn't really necessarily dim your blade, it just creates a much better effect by having good diffusion. So that is how to get your blade looking even and awesome. Whether you're buying a complete blade from the Custom Saber Shop or you choose to buy the parts and construct the blade yourself. Either way, I recommend you try a couple of different styles of blade, a couple of different styles of parts and construction techniques so that you can find what works best and looks best for you. Because a lot of this is just personal opinion and you want to be happy with your saber at the end of the day. If you found this video helpful, then please subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's more where this one came from. And again, thanks for watching.